The typical approach to designing instruction uh, of any kind, the textbook, um, a lecture, and so forth, involves a professor who has expertise in a domain reflecting on that expertise and using that to design the instruction. And that approach is, is basically fundamentally flawed. A much better, much more effective way to design a instruction that enhances student learning outcomes is to have a deep understanding of the nature of expertise that you want students to develop, as well as an understanding of students' typical errors that they uh, may make on their way to that expertise. It has been shown that a instructional design based on one of these accurate cognitive models of learners produces much more effective instruction. However, the approaches to develop these kinds of models are quite expensive. They involve a lot of interviews of experts and repeated uh, analysis of such an approach. So what we have done is developed a way to use data collected from educational technologies to make that a process of building a detailed understanding of expertise and of learners much more cost effective. Our approach uh, to using data involves uh, statistical modeling and machine learning and it's been applied in uh, to data sets from a variety of educational technologies indicating that it is quite scalable. We've used it with data from intelligent tutoring systems for mathematics, online courses for uh, college level statistics, for example, even educational games uh, like a, a game for helping students learn fractions. In all of these cases, the approach involves using the data to, to understand places where students have trouble, breakdowns in the learning process, where the learning curve doesn't go down smoothly. In those cases, we can identify flaws in existing models and improve them. And the key to this is that this is being done by an algorithm. Uh, thus, it's quite possible to apply it to multiple data sets. We have demonstrated this approach, this learning factors analysis algorithm, across 11 different data sets. And in all cases, it uh, was able to discover a better cognitive model of learners than had been created by experts before. The consequence of this approach is that we can discover these improved models and use them to redesign instruction. And it has been shown repeatedly, and you can see that in other videos here, that, that such model-based design of instruction leads to better student learning outcomes. The great thing about this current work is that we've demonstrated how we can scale this kind of data-driven, intensive approach by using an automated learning algorithm to apply it across multiple data sets. Through Data Lab, you can apply this approach to your own data, whether it's massive online uh, course data or educational game data, intelligent tutor data, any kind of educational technology data can be uploaded to Data Lab and uh, algorithms like this one can be applied so that you can use them to improve student learning outcomes.